Hello, movie lovers. I hope you do enjoy the video. Today, I'm going to bring you my review and my thoughts on the 4K release of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This one was provided to me for review by Dark Sky Films. If you guys get a chance to check out this 4K release, or if you guys have seen the movie before, love to hear thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to include more information, click the link, first one down in the description. So I've always been a big fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I never really thought about it, but I watched a, I remember it was a documentary, there was something about it that I had watched, and they were talking about how people feel like they see more gore in this movie than they do. A lot of it is implied or off screen, and it is true that a lot of the actual gore is off screen. You do see people getting hit with sledgehammers, but there's no graphic gore or anything in those scenes. And so there, it's not really as gory and bloody as you would think. Now, curious if you guys know, is this the movie that made Chainsaw scary? Like, was there a movie before this? Or was this the origins of the scary chainsaw killer? You know, every haunted house has a guy with a chainsaw who chases you. Is it based off this movie? So this movie follows a group of um, probably teenagers or twenty early 20s. Um, their grandfather is buried at this a graveyard, and there's been a grave robber there. And they, they go to check to see if he's okay. I don't know. It's not real clear exactly. They just want to go see if he got dug up. And if he did, I don't know what they're going to do. And it turns out that their family home from when they were younger or whatever is right up the road and they decide they're going to go check that out. Now along the way they pick up a hitchhiker and he's very odd and some of the movies from this era like I really like because they kind of have that darker dirtier not perfect cinematography and they just have that very creepy vibe to them whereas opposed to newer movies you know are much cleaner and they're 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 more they, they are, are more elaborate and they just don't have that grittiness to them. So they pick this guy up and he's real out there and he he really scares them and they kick him out of the car. Uh, he cuts Franklin and they just they don't know what to do. So uh, they go to get gas and the gas station doesn't have any gas. It's going to come later. So they decide to go check out the family home and then come back um, later and get gas. Now they kind of check out the family home and it's all broke down and falling apart. And they decide to go next door to look, to, to look see if they can get some gas. Unfortunately, there's a family of murderous cannibals living there, and so they don't they don't turn out too well. Uh, the other than um, I don't I don't feel like they really explain the killer's motivations. Um, the the main guy uh, Leatherface he obviously has some sort of mental disability, and he, he's just not right but uh we don't i don't think we really get a lot of motivation of to why um these killings happen but um but he kind of just picks them off one by one and there's nothing too overly gory i don't think in this one um and then of course we have the final girl who to me by the end of the movie is just like insane like she's so crazy um but I've always really liked this movie. Like I, I feel now after reviewing movies for a while, like I feel like there's parts of this movie that, that kind of get a little slow and uh, I, I like a little more from a horror movie, but I also feel like it's so perfect in so many ways too. I, I just, I really like it. Uh, the 4k quality. Now they had released the Blu-ray, um, I believe from a 4k master quite a few years ago. And I was not too into the picture quality. I just, I did not care for it. But I think this 4K transfer has to be the best this movie has ever looked. Um, it has some really great detail, mainly in the foreground. A lot of the background is is kind of blurry and grainy, but the foreground detail is great. I think the colors are pretty nice. I mean, there's nothing like popping or or just looking like amazing, but I feel like it's a darker movie. You know, the colors aren't supposed to be super bright and vibrant. I feel like, you know, they feel authentic, though. Uh, and I think overall, the movie just looks a lot clearer than it did on the Blu-ray. Uh, again, like I say, the the backgrounds, some of the backgrounds do have some good detail, but a lot of the times, uh, like when you see the sky, it just kind of looks like a giant blob and, you know, there's a lot of grain. Um, but I feel like for the most part, this movie looks really great. There were a few scenes that I felt weren't quite as up to par as the rest of the movie. But I feel like if you like this movie, um, this is a great looking transfer on this one. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to give this one a 
three and a half out of five. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check the chess videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, the video is done. Choose another video. Still here? Subscribe and visit my social media links.